Smart dice, isn't it? Nice colours. I'm sort of testing it too, just to see if it's giving me some nice random numbers, and it seems to be okay, actually. It's something that bothers me. Has it ever bothered you that there must be something... There are loaded dice, of course, around, and I've got one or two in my collection. But is this a loaded die, or is it uh, perfectly symmetrical? Well, this is a thought that occurs. If you put it down with a one in position, if you think there's a tiny, tiny amount of material being taken from that single one, okay, that's what you need to do. Turn it over, and one is opposite a six. Hang on a sec, those are all the same size as the ones. So there's six bits of materials been taken from that side. This has a little more material taken from that side than from that single one. That means it might be heavier and lighter. The central gravity might have shifted up or down. I have to work it out which way it goes. But it's a bother to me that you can have unintentionally a die which is loaded, but in a very, very subtle way. And I wonder if it's possible to have one without being loaded. Hmm. Well, recently such a thing came across to our attention, and this is what it looks like. Look what they've done here. They looked at the problem and said, well, let's have a large one here. There's a lot of material being removed from the big one. And they've obviously worked it out to match exactly so that the little six tiny little cavities exactly uh, come to the same weight as the tiny amount taken from the slightly larger one there. They should therefore be balanced again. The centre of gravity just might be in the right place. So you, I think I have to do quite a few of these to make it work and make it happen. But it's nice to know some people are thinking about the problem of unintentional loading the die, and with a bit of effort you can come up with something that can't be loaded.